Am I the asshole for refusing to forgive my dad for breaking our deal? When I, 17M, was 8, my parents bought me a piano and signed me up for lessons. I was super excited because I love music. Over time I kinda became known as the, piano guy, at school. I play at school concerts, accompany the school jazz choir, and play once a week for the residents at a couple of retirement homes in our town. When I was 15, I started to talk about quitting lessons, and my parents quickly tried to guilt me out of it. I told them I wanted to try other things, and that between piano and studying, I didn't have much time left for other extracurriculars. My dad proposed a deal. If I kept playing and taking lessons until I reached level 10 RCM, Royal Conservatory of Music, and continued to keep my grades up at school, he would buy me a new car of my choice. I jumped at it and we shook hands on the deal. I should explain that my family is well off financially. I have a very privileged life, but I wouldn't say I've been spoiled. If I ever want a luxury item like a new phone or game console, I have to buy it myself with money I've saved from summer and after school jobs. I should also explain that my dad's big on loopholes. When we compete, he always finds a way to win, and when I do it doesn't count because of some loophole. It drives me nuts, but he thinks it's hilarious. Whenever I complain about him not playing fair, his answer is always the same, life isn't fair. So, because of our deal, I kept up with my lessons. I spent about 1-2 hours a day on piano, while keeping my grades up. Last summer, I took my level 9 RCM exams and passed, fulfilling my part of the deal. Two told my dad I'd chosen the BMW X5 plug-in hybrid SUV. A couple of months ago, on my birthday, I came downstairs for breakfast, and my dad told me there was a surprise waiting for me in the garage. I ran out, and sitting in the middle of the floor was a 124th scale, toy BMW X5. My dad burst out laughing and said, a deal's a deal so as promised here is your brand new BMW. My heart absolutely broke. I asked if he was being serious, and he said I couldn't seriously have expected him to buy a 17-year-old a real brand new BMW and that we could discuss getting me a reasonably priced used car. I said we had a deal and I fulfilled my end of it. He said he did too since I never said that the car had to be full size and drivable. I said he wasn't being fair. His response. Life isn't fair. Ever since this happened, I've been distant with my dad. I honestly feel like he betrayed my trust and that he deliberately made a fool out of me. He keeps bringing up the idea of a used car, but I told him I'm not interested, which I admit is kind of petty. I have enough money saved that I can buy a cheap used car myself, and I just feel like if I accept one from him now it's like saying that breaking his promise didn't matter and that he didn't do anything wrong. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Someday when he wants to come home for holidays, send a framed photo he can set at the table. There. You are home. You didn't tell him you'd be there in person. Life's not fair, dad. Not the asshole. Life might not be fair, but that doesn't justify your father being cruel. I'm sorry he finds more enjoyment in letting you down than being a good dad. ETA. Regarding some of the other comments saying a 17-year-old doesn't need a car that expensive. I don't necessarily disagree. That's a pretty expensive car for an inexperienced driver. However, the father should have been upfront about the type of car he was willing to buy instead of letting Op think he'd get him one. Am I the asshole for telling her to get over herself? I got a dog two years ago, Corgi, and she is very much so my sidekick. I've been with my fiancé for five years. My fiancé does like the dog but she is currently pregnant and experiencing massive migraines and has been snapping at everything. So every morning when I get up I find my fiancé already awake and at the table relaxing. As soon as I get out of the bed, my dog goes nuts. It's like super energy where she is running sideways, barking up a storm, jumping from the bed to the floor a million times, causing the apartment to shake because it's old ASF, etc. And I will sit there and sing made-up songs to her and just fuck around with her. It is pretty noisy and I can be loud. It's just my way of interacting with my pet. I also have ADHD, so I'm fully aware that I can be ridiculously loud and sometimes I simply forget to tone it down. My fiancé has complained about it a few times and I will absolutely try to tone it down for a while but as fucked up as it sounds, the second she stops complaining and it's, out of sight, out of mind, I start doing it again. If I catch myself I apologize immediately but sometimes I don't even catch myself doing it. So she has been getting up earlier than normal because she says she needs peace and quiet away from you and the dog, 
because she can't hear herself think when we get up and then she starts getting migraines and being overall pissed off. But now she is complaining because I can sense her not in the bed anymore probably after 20 minutes of her being gone and her warmth no longer there and then I'm wide awake and the dog senses it and ya no. So she's now getting pissed because she thinks I'm purposely not letting her have space and purposely annoying her with my behaviors. I'm not, truly but it seems like it I guess. I've tried just laying in bed for a while so she can relax but I get stir crazy and I also don't feel like I should have to stay in bed so she can be alone when I live here too. But she flipped this morning. I felt her sneaking out of bed this morning at 5 a.m. and tiptoe out of the room. I watched her sit at the table with her book. Well, the dog saw me awake and immediately goes ballistic. Jumping on the bed, whining, barking, etc. She comes in and says, will you guys calm down so I can have time to myself for once? I just side-eyed her because I'm getting pissed at this point with her demands. She says, well, I tell her to get over herself. Just because she's pregnant doesn't mean I have to change who I am or change how the household works or change my dynamic with my dog. She immediately left after telling me to go fuck myself and won't answer my calls. She's been gone for six hours. The second she stops complaining and it's out of sight, out of mind, I start doing it again. You are the asshole this mindset is how women get branded as nags, when in reality their partners can't just hold the smallest bit of consideration for others. Your partner is literally sneaking out of bed in the early morning hours to just have a moment of peace and quiet to relax and you can't let her have it because if she isn't actively complaining you can't respect her need to a few minutes of quiet. Do you think this morning routine is going to be helpful once the baby is born? You're loud every single morning and not caring about the physical distress of a person growing a new human in her body. A new human that all assume is also yours. Start working on another way to relate to the dog in the morning that allows other people in the house to have peace. You are the asshole. Am I the asshole for interrupting my neighbor's house auction because someone parked in my driveway? First I'd seen the signs out front of their house but didn't pay attention. I go out this morning with my family to do shopping. I come home to find my quiet street packed cars both sides narrowing it to one way. I get to my house and someone had parked in my driveway. I keep going to next door, fortunately I was facing that way. Auction was in full swing. Agent going mental, scumbags in suits everywhere. I roll down the window and yell, whoever the inconsiderate asshole was that parked in my driveway better move the fk in car now. Silence. Some old person gets in this shitty little Yaris and moves it. I back into my driveway and into my garage. About 10 minutes later there's a knock on my door. It's one of the real estate flunkies who proceeded to chew me out for, ruining his auction, and, costing the neighbor money. I told him I didn't give a fuck and maybe they should have given us notice of the auction. We got nothing in the mailbox, and he can just piss off my property. My wife says I should have found a park and walked up and asked nicely. I told her nice doesn't work in this situation. So am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Your driveway. Your rules. What's the value in finding another parking spot when you have a home with parking? And further why should you ask nicely when people should know that driveways are off limits? Woman shrugging light skin tone. Not the asshole. I'm sure the person who parked there would have know it can block someone from entering or exiting their house. They decided it didn't matter and they were more important. Not the asshole. The man was totally in the wrong for parking in your driveway, that's for sure. And you can't be expected to drive to God knows where to park your car because someone parked in your property. Not the asshole. Sure you could have asked nicely. But there's no reason to park in someone else's driveway and if you do, you're asking for it. Am I the asshole for not allowing my late husband's affair partner come to his funeral? Three weeks ago my husband died in a car accident halfway across the country. He said he was going to a work trip but we later found out that all of that was just another one of his lies and he was actually on a cheating trip. Something he'd seemingly been doing for at least the past five year. So yeah. It's been a very fun few weeks. Feel fantastic. Our kids are 7 female, 14 male and 19 male. Only the eldest knows about the affair and we all agreed to keep it to ourselves. The problem lies with his partner. She wanted to be involved. I told her that wouldn't be possible and she should respect our privacy. Even putting my feelings aside, though he's trying to be strong for his younger siblings, my eldest is battling with his anger and grief. Having her there would only cause problems. 
Regardless, she was there when we arrived at the graveyard standing some distance away but she was still close enough to everyone to just make her stand out as if she wants to be seen. I told my brother and he removed her without causing too much a scene. Afterwards she sent me a text which summarized basically called me selfish for blocking her from being there and saying I robbed her of the chance to say goodbye properly. For some reason this is slightly bothering me. I found myself justifying my actions to myself repeatedly since receiving that text. I still believe I did what was right and put my kids first. She had no business there and her presence would only cause drama. She could always go to his grave whenever she wants to say goodbye. Was I the asshole? Not the asshole she apparently knew she was having an affair with a married man and father and she is unreasonable expecting anything from you. I'm sorry for what you're going through, this must be a hell of a time. Not the asshole. If she wants to, say goodbye properly, she can pay for a memorial service of her own. Having an affair with someone who already has a spouse and children has drawbacks. Not being welcome at weddings, funerals, and other family functions is one of them. She can not plausibly claim to be surprised at being asked to leave. Not the asshole. She was playing around knowingly with a married man who had a family and now she has the nerve to call you the selfish one? No sympathy for her, you do what you need to do to protect your kids and family.